We all know that Donald Trump was both an awful president and an awful human being, and he's still an awful human being. But a new report shows that when he was the most powerful man in the world, he used the pandemic as an excuse to joke about the suffering of others and also to wish death upon some of his political enemies who got sick like he eventually did. I want to read you an excerpt here because it really shows Trump's callousness and his cruelty. It says, Trump had tried to joke about the virus for months, sometimes even mocking people who had become ill. At one meeting several months before Trump got sick, NEC director Larry Kudlow had stifled a cough. The room had frozen. Trump had waved his hands in front of his face as if to jokingly ward off any virus particles and then cracked a smile. I was just kidding, he'd said. Larry would never get COVID. He will defeat it with his optimism. John Bolton, he had said, hopefully COVID takes out John. And the report goes to specifically note that Trump was serious. He wasn't just joking at that point. He let it be known that his formal national security advisor, John Bolton, should pass away from this because it would make Trump's life easier. And look, John Bolton is a monster. He is a historic monster in the United States. He helped encourage some of the most anti-humanitarian actions by right-wing ghouls in the United States for uh, generations before Donald Trump. So this is not me defending John Bolton. He truly is like Trump a monster. But the point is, the President of the United States, while in office, in a formal meeting, was using this pandemic ravaging the country to wish death on his political enemies. That is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. First of all, the President shouldn't be joking about this. Because while in public he was trying to downplay the severity while his supporters flocked to his rallies and got one another sick and really harmed themselves all for their glorious cult. The reality is that behind the scenes, Trump knew better. We all heard the Bob Woodward tapes, the interviews between him and Trump back last spring. Trump knew Trump knew how bad this was. He knew it was bad. He knew it was going to hit the United States hard. He knew it was more dangerous for young people and for middle-aged people than he was letting on. In public, he was saying it was only dangerous for the elderly and the sick, but he acknowledged it was actually dangerous for everyone, and yet he could still joke about it and try to use it as a tool of political expediency. I, I, I don't care how we felt about Trump. I really don't care. I know a lot of people wouldn't have been sad that he passed away from it, but my first instinct was not, I hope that, you know, COVID takes care of my political enemies. I don't think that's just. You might call it karmic with Trump, given that he let so many people pass away. You might call it karmic, given that he joked about it, especially until he faced the severe reality of it. But the fact of the matter is, it seems like Donald Trump was relatively unique, at least among top officials, in using this crisis to beg for the death of his enemies. And so you can clearly see that, if anything, Donald Trump loved this because it was almost giving him this political opportunity. These clips we're getting, these little insights we're getting into Trump since he's left office shows that on a moral and on a intellectual and on an emotional basis, he never had the integrity or the stability for the office he had. And if he gets power again, guys, and again, there's a chance he might, he will be even worse because he'll know that one, that's his last term, and two, he'll know how to be an even more effective evil leader.